Hey, what's going on everyone? Today, I'm gonna give my first impressions of the Oroscopic Eye Zooms after using it for about two months. As I mentioned in a previous video, I've had a pair of Oroscopic loops for the last seven years. The last pair I had was a 3.7 times magnification prismatic loops. This time around, I decided to upgrade because of this unique ability to change magnification on the go from three, four, and five times magnification. During these last couple of months, I found myself using the three times magnification for like extractions and implants, five times magnification for restorations, crowns, and endodontic treatment, and four times magnification for just about everything else. The build quality is excellent and the optics are crystal clear, which is something you would expect from a brand like Oroscopic. It's very simple to switch between the different magnifications by turning the dial until you feel a click. Something to make note of is that you have to choose either three, four, or five times magnification, and you can't select the magnification like in between. I actually didn't have any problems adjusting my depth perception and my hand-eye coordination when switching between the magnifications during a procedure. For example, sometimes I would switch back and forth between four times and five times magnification when prepping that margin for that crown or veneer and you wanna really get in there and be super precise. I've been considering the eye zooms for a while and one of my biggest worries and concerns was possibly the weight. It is a heavier pair of loop, especially compared to my last one. However, actually, I haven't had any problems with the weight, especially using the head strap provided. The strap is made out of a really great quality material. It stays in place and it doesn't loosen up over time. I thought when I first felt it, it felt really smooth and I was worried about it loosening up, but it actually stays put. Also, I haven't had any discomfort on my nose because of the strap. And when using it for the whole day, I haven't had to like take it off for a break or whatnot. I requested to have the loop set at the highest angle of declination possible. I was told that the maximum is 40 degrees, so that's what I went with. My original pair of loops was 30 degrees. And after practicing for about eight years, there are moments when there's some tension and fatigue in the muscles in the head and neck area. And actually with these 10 degrees, I actually feel like there's an improvement. Something that you should know about the eye zooms is that I was told that you have to send them in for service once a year due to the moving parts. However, I do have colleagues that didn't even know about this and haven't sent them in and they haven't had any problems so far. As for the light, the headlamp has a small form factor like every headlamp really on the market right now. The wire is this braided material that I usually associate with like higher quality electronics. The wire, which is very important, is actually interchangeable, which is really important because it's usually this that breaks and this connection, as opposed to the actual headlamp itself. The true color technology in my eyes really does look like daylight. Maybe that's something we should test in the future. And the shape of the light is a very defined circle that's very uniformly lit throughout, which is super nice. When you compare this to some of the other lights out in their market, you can see really the difference. Since I wanted the most battery life possible, I decided to go with the Endeavor XL. The case is made out of a metal, making it very heavy duty. I found after a full charge, it did last about four and a half working days. It has a touch button in the front that you hold to turn it on and off and that you can tap when it's on to change between three different intensities. This can be activated through your scrubs or even a lab coat. There was a little bit of a learning curve at first when using this, uh, this button because I was so used to a physical button. But the problem with a physical button is sometimes I would throw it in my bag and it would turn on by accident. And with this touch on and off button, I don't see those types of accidents actually happening. There is a LED light that tells you when it's charging and an LED light that tells you when there's low battery. I haven't read the actual manual, so I'm guilty of that, but I don't know what this low battery light even means. Like, does it mean you have two minutes left or 30 minutes left? So I find this a little bit confusing and not really that useful. I personally would have rather had an indicator that told me when I'm at 50%, 25%, or like 5%. The size of the XL battery is quite large and heavy, so it may not be suitable for everybody. 
Another thing that I noticed when using the three times magnification, that the light doesn't fill the entire field of view. I honestly don't know if this is something that happens with all lights, since I've been using higher than three times magnification for the last seven years. Maybe someone can chime in on this. These are just some of my initial thoughts, and in the next few months, I'm gonna do another video telling you how everything's holding up. Comment below and let us know what magnification you use, and if you find a variable magnification loop helpful. Thanks again for watching everybody. Stay tuned for the next video. Peace.